welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to make a style of bat boxes. I'm following the CWF printout that you can find on the Help the Bats website. So, I have all my um, pieces here and starting at step number seven, we are going to roughen the plank so that the bats have something that they can grab onto um, when they go into these boxes. So in order to do that, I am going to start with my back piece and you're only going to roughen one side of the back panel and both sides of the middle panel. As you can see, I have already put two drill holes into the middle panel and this allows for a chamber um, for the bats to go from one, um, one section to the other section in the box. So without further ado, let's get scratching. All right. For scratching, I'm taking a chisel and I'm going to go down and across. And you want to make sure that the scratches are horizontal with the with the plank so that they can hang like this way. You don't want them going vertical. So continue that all the way down the length of the box. Spacing for these um, doesn't matter too much, but you do want to have ensure that you have enough of them down the whole length of this panel. So let's see. The deeper you can make them, the better. If you do have a saw and can do this with a machine. Uh, that would be ideal, but I understand that's not very feasible for a lot of people. So again, a chisel and some muscle um, will work just fine. pieces are all roughened, I'll move on to step number nine. So for this step, you're going to grab your caulking and two of your planks. Here you're going to apply a layer of caulking. And you want to make sure that the end piece here is lined up with the end of the board because we want to have a nice flat roof at the end so we want all these pieces that we're stacking up on top of each other to line up and then I'll do the same thing for the other side perfect so once you've applied the thin um, layer of caulking and let that sit what I'm gonna do is because my screws are a bit longer is I'm gonna put the middle piece on as well and you want to make sure that the, these two holes are at the top of your box. So I'm going to put the middle one on and then I'm going to drill these three pieces of wood all together just because of my screws being a little bit longer than normal. Perfect. So now I have the middle piece secured on and we'll repeat the process um, except this time, we'll be putting on the top piece. And the top piece, we didn't put any scratchings on, but if you'd like and have extra time, you can definitely put scratches on the inside of the top piece. So again, we'll take our two planks, and we'll put a bead of caulking on each side, place it on both ends, and then we'll put the top piece on. So I'll go ahead and start caulking. side pieces are on that's when you can start putting on the top so this plank is shorter than the middle piece you'll want the top end to line up with the top of your box 
like so. And then you'll realize you have this extra bit um, exposed. That's where this um, six inch piece board comes in. So you'll put this board about half an inch, leaving like about a, that gap there. So I will cock these on, screw them in, and then I'll show a close up of how my board assembles. drill in the exact same location that you put the first drill um, drill bit so just kind of give yourself if I put my first one there just move over a little bit just so you don't hit it when you start screwing in perfect so now once you have that all screwed in your box looks pretty good at this point. We are almost done. Uh, we just have to put on the roof. So you can either put it, the roof on with it standing up um, and drilling down, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to lay it down flat here and put the roof on this way. So you'll take your smaller five inch piece here wide and place it flat on to the top of the box. You will have about this much of a lip hanging off so that when it rains the pads don't get wet so there's this runoff effect here and we want to make sure it lines up nice and straight we'll put some caulking as well um, and we'll put some after we're done screwing we'll put some all around the edges before we do the stain so without further ado let's get drilling Perfect. so now we have our box with our roof on it the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these sides here and I'll show a close up, but any gaps that I see in along wherever there was two pieces of wood coming together, I'm gonna apply a thin layer of caulking just so that I can ensure that it's um, airtight and that water won't seep into it. I will apply caulking just to fill in any of these holes that I can see. There's a little bit of gaps between some of the boards. And then I'll do the same for the roof. I'll apply a thin layer along here. And if we look on the other side, same thing. I can see that some of the caulking has already seeped through, so I can put that into the different holes there. But that's going to be my next step. And then I'll let it dry and apply the stain. all finished um, you want to make sure that it dries completely so depending on the different brands it can take a little bit longer this one dries fairly quickly but I'm still gonna wait a few hours before I apply the stain because I want to make sure that the caulking is completely dry I might even go over and wipe a little bit of the excess off um, and then I'll get going perfect so once it's all dried we can now stain it uh, you want to make sure that your stain is water-based and non-toxic. You also want to make sure that it's a dark color, so I'm using charcoal. So I'll open this up and get painting. You'll also want to make sure that you do a couple coats so I'll start with the one layer, let it completely dry, and then go back again. Another tip when you're painting the grooves, you want to make sure that you're not painting like too much inside them so that the big groove that you make is no longer there. Um, 
So just really be aware of that when you're doing it. You want to maintain the depth of these grooves. Perfect. So now our bat box is completely dried with the second coat. I hope this tutorial was helpful and best of luck on building your own bat box. Thank you.